I want to call uh, Ashley Lincoln to come and a little baby Aliana to come and meet me right here in the front and those that are standing with you. Can we give her a warm welcome, church, as she comes? <clears throat> Note the, mount, the matching outfits. I mean, you know, some thought went into this, which is wonderful. And uh, Ashley, Aliana, Rick, and T Sem Semram. Okay, Rick is uh, Ashley's uncle and family. And, and okay, and grandma and grandpa are here too. Why don't you two come over on this side? Okay, so I want to read a few things to the church and to you before we do the actual dedication. Let me stand over here so I'm not in anybody's way. Okay, little children are brought to ministers in our day who as representatives of the Lord receive them and pray for the protecting hand of God to be upon them and bless them in the act of dedication. The dedication is unto the Lord that uh, to the end that he may keep them and bless them all the days of their lives. Parents who bring their children for dedication by the very act signify their faith in the Christian way of life. And in 2023, that is wonderful to hear. Praise God. They also indicate their desire uh, that their children would grow up to know the Lord, to live according to his will, and to live eternally in the blessedness which God has decreed for those who love him. Now, this is where it gets a little deeper. But the act of dedication does not automatically make the child a Christian. We wish that it would, but it doesn't. <laughs> But it's, instead, it's a point of beginning <clears throat> in which parents, having committed the children to God for his care in matters beyond human wisdom and understanding, enter into partnership with the church to teach them early to fear the Lord, to direct their minds to the Holy Scriptures, their feet to the sanctuary, and their hearts to Christ as their Savior, and to bring them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. But we're excited when parents dedicate their children to Jesus. Ashley, I'm going to ask you some questions. And if you will agree, you will say, I do. And as the godparents, uh, I'll be speaking to you in just a minute. <laughs> and the grandparents, you're in already. <laughs> they don't have a choice. <laughs> right. Ashley, in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses, do you solemnly undertake to bring up this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord? Do you promise early to seek to lead her to accept Jesus Christ as her Savior and Lord? And do you promise as far as in you lies to set before her examples of godly and consistent lives? Okay. Godparents, I'm going to ask you simply, uh, your family, but in this case, you're going to, and hello, girls. God bless you. You're part of this too, you know. But will you be there to be, be the spiritual guidance, the spiritual support, should she be in need of that? Will you be there to help her through some difficult times? You remember when your girls were young, not every day is a holiday. Uh, but will you be there to be a, an ear, to maybe give some wise counsel? Your role is very important. It's not just a formality. This will be something that you, you should really remember for the rest of your lives. And as she grows up, remember her birthday, remember special days, be there for her. Be a spiritual force in her life. Amen? Grandparents, welcome to the Ministry of Grandparenthood. <laughs> How many grandparents in the house? Raise your hand and say amen. 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 It's a wonderful blessing of the Lord to be a grandparent of a Christian family. Your role goes without saying. Always pray. Always be there. Always lend an ear and let your wisdom be poured out as you're able to give that wisdom. Okay, Aliana, time for us to get together here. Could I have her on this? Hi. 
Hi, honey. Oh, well, let me get that up there. Okay. Now we're really close up. Okay. Can you hold this lady? I'm going to pray for her. Why don't we stand together? Can we do that? Father, we thank you for this precious little girl. Lord God, what a joy to hold this, this life in my arms and to be praying over her. We anoint her with oil as a symbol of your Holy Spirit, not only for today, but for every single day of her life. May this oil be represent, representative of the Spirit of God that ministers to her every single day. Holy Spirit, come. As, as a little oil goes a long way and brings soothing to the skin, may your presence always be obvious in her life. May your, may your holy presence be a guide for her. May you, Holy Spirit, as the helper, help her along the way. In this day and age, it is more than difficult. She needs her mom. She needs her godparents. She needs her grandparents. She needs the church. But Lord God, she needs you. And we pray, Lord, that you would touch her, save her, and fill her with your Holy Spirit all the days of her life. We dedicate her back to you now. Pray for your perfect will to be done in her life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So this is Aliana Eleanor Lincoln. Now, now we're getting the hang of this. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. So I'll give her back to you. You want to take her back? You did so good with me. Praise the Lord. Okay, church, we're going to pray one more time, but every time we have a baby dedication, we're reminded of how precious children are. And I, I want to ask you to really pray for our kids as often as you can. Pray for this little girl and these girls too, as often as you can. Pray for the kids of our church because the kids of our church are really precious, really important. So I'm commissioning you to pray for the children of this church. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this family. We thank you, Lord, for this moment and this opportunity to pray blessings over this precious little girl. Lord, we also pray now for the church that we would, in a sense, be one larger family that would lend support and help in, in moments of need or crisis and simply just to have fellowship together. Lord, you, we know you've called us out of the worldly way. You've called us into the Christian way. It's a different lifestyle. But we pray, Lord, as, as this little girl grows up in the church, she will find her way, find friends, find people that love and care for her and finds her place, not only in the house of God, but finds her place with you, Lord. So Lord, bless this congregation as we move forward. And let the church continue to grow even through our children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody said amen. amen and amen. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I didn't pray for you. Hey, we have to pray for mommy real quick here. <laughs> let, let's do that. You know what? I'm going to pray for all of you if that's okay. Praise you, Lord. Father God, praise you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, I want to pray for Ashley as a mom, as a Christian mom in this world, yes. Lord. She needs your blessing and your help, Lord. She's done a great job. And, and let her continue to do a great job uh, in this situation. But let her always be sensitive to not only her child's needs, but what you're calling for her is. Let her be sensitive to know what, what little uh, Aliana is supposed to be doing with her life. Let her as a mom be sensitive to those things and lead her in the right way. So may your blessing be there and we thank you for it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, yeah, we have, we have a Bible and we have a certificate for the family, for the baby.
God bless you. Thank you. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you.